This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus X54 laptop computer, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus A50, X54 laptop computer. Now, usually they have one letter after the X54, so this particular one is out. X54H, but this procedure will work just as well for X54C or X54L laptop computer. So anything that starts with the X54, this will work for. Okay, before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we need to remove all sources of power, and that includes the battery on the bottom. So we flip the laptop over. The battery is located towards the back of the laptop or towards the front as the way we have it now. And there's two levers on either side of the battery. So we slide the left one outward that unlocks the battery. And then we slide the right, right one outward and we pull the battery out like so. Once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. While we're still on the bottom of the laptop, I'm going to show you how to find the model number. There's a sticker right above the Microsoft Windows sticker. And if we get good focus, this one says X54H. So that's what you're looking for. So it might be X54C or X54L, but this is what you're looking for. Okay, so flip the laptop back over open it up and then it's time to remove the screen bezel. The screen bezel is the plastic frame that goes around the screen assembly and we need to remove it in order to get to the screen assembly. Before we start we're going to show you the tools we're going to use today. Uh, we have a set of electronic screwdrivers. The first screwdriver is a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. This is the one we'll use the most. Second one is a PH00 screwdriver. Sometimes you encounter smaller Phillips screws inside the laptop and uh, we're going to use this one if need arises. And then a 2 millimeter, two millimeter flathead screwdriver and this one we use basically uh, to pry things open if we have to or to pry hinge covers open. And finally, we have a pair of sharp metal tweezers, and that's to manipulate any cables that we have, or if there are some screws that get stuck, these are very handy to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the screen bezel. And in order to do that, you have to remove two screws at the bottom that are holding the screen bezel in place. There's one here and one here and they're covered by some screw covers and that's where we use our exacto knife i believe i didn't describe this one it's an exacto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed end and it's used specifically to remove plastic screw covers so using the exacto knife we lift this up and what we have to do is put it next to the screw opening so i don't lose it same thing on this side lift this up like so, and put it right next to it. Once we do that, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom, one on each side. There's one. And for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile, and I keep the piles in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I reassemble the laptop. The next thing we want to do is snap off the screen bezel. And the way we do that is we put our fingertips on the screen side and either with our fingertips or fingernails start gently lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. If you're having trouble, try pulling outward a little bit when you do this also. And then start going around the screen assembly. If we get stuck at a place, that's okay, keep moving. There also might be some adhesive, like in this case, that you'll have to lift up when you're lifting up the screen bezel. That's okay, just take your time and keep going around. 
Okay, like so. And we keep moving around. And then we go on the bottom. On the bottom, you do the same thing. Kind of lift that up with your fingertips. And just one more corner. And the screen bezel is off. So we put the screen bezel to the side and we look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets on the side using two or three screws on each side. And the next step is to see if we can access those screws. And um, we can't quite yet. So what we want to do is using our PH1 screwdriver, remove the two screws at the top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. And once again, put them in a different pile. Once we do that, this allows us to tilt the screen forward a little bit to the screen from the screen assembly, and now the screen is a lot easier to get to. So next, what we want to do is we see the top screw over here, and we use our PH1 screwdriver, again, the bigger screwdriver, and remove the top screw. And this one, it's a little bit unusual, because once you remove the top screw, this piece of the bracket comes off. It's not connected to the bottom. So we put it together with the top screw. And the other thing that we need to notice is that this particular laptop, it's missing a screw down here. But for your laptop, most likely you will have the screw here. And you have to reach it. And in order to reach it, most likely you have to loosen up the three screws on the lower right-hand corner so that you can tilt the screen forward. Loosen up maybe a couple turns. And then once you do that, you'll be able to reach the screw down here. And when you're putting the laptop together again, then don't forget to tighten it. Okay. So we do the same thing here. We loosen up. We remove the top screw. Make sure you don't lose it. And make sure that the screen assembly is tilted backwards when you're doing this and we remove the bracket. Okay, once again, there's supposed to be another screw on the bottom of this laptop, but it's not here. So in order to get to the screw, you need to loosen up the three screws at the bottom and tilt the screen forward a little bit so you can reach this screw down here. Okay, so the screen is loose from the assembly now, and we gently start tilting it forward like so. And then we put it down. Now for this type of screen, there's only one connector. It's an LED type connector. And it's right here. And the first thing that we want to do is remove the adhesive tape. I'll lift up the adhesive tape that's on the top of it. I use my fingernails to pry to start it, but you can also use the exacto knife that you have that we have to start it. Okay, so you lift this up until you get to the connector, and then you leave it alone. And then usually the cable that's behind the connector it has some adhesive on the back also. So be being very careful, lift up the adhesive, and once you do that, you just pull the connector out like so. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reinsert this connector because I see it as a source of trouble for people doing it at home. Okay, you slide the connector in. and let's get a close-up. You'll feel but not hear two clicks when you slide the connector in. And let's see if we can focus. There we go. Okay, so when you slide the connector in, there should not be any gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the screen. We're going to pull the screen out again. And we're going to pull the connector out again. And let's take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. And as of mid 2012, it's the most common screen used in laptops. So it should not be a problem finding this. Let's look at the model number. number model number on this is LTN156AT24. That's what you do, that's what number you use when you do your lookup. And most likely, when you look up this model number, there's about four or five different manufacturers that make the exact same screens, and each of them has three or four different model numbers for the exact same screen. So the model number that you'll most likely get will not match this one, but it will be compatible. Okay, you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you do is go to www.screensurgeons.com and there will be a short form for you to fill out. You give us the model number and the email and we'll email you back the right screen. Or if you want to go right away to our web store, you click a link at the bottom that says find your screen and then enter the model number in the search box and the right screen should pop up. If not, just send us email and we'll find the right screen for you. So what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. We guarantee you that the screen we send you is compatible. We have fast delivery. We have warehouses in Los Angeles, Chicago, and Philadelphia and Tucson, so we can get your screen fast. And also with us, you get this free toolkit. So the toolkit comes for free with, every, with this screen that you order. So you'll have all the tools necessary. And finally, we offer free email technical support. So if you get stuck somewhere during the procedure, send us email and we'll help you out. And I lied, not finally, we ship all over the world. So we ship to most countries in the world. So if you're outside the United States, just go through the standard checkout procedure and then there'll be shipping directions for your country. Okay, um, once you do, get your new screen in. So put the connector in, as I showed you. Mount the screen back in. Put the two screws in on the bottom. And then put the metal mounting brackets in on top. Put the screws in on the side and on the top. And then snap the screen bezel on. And just put the two screws in on the bottom and you should be good to go. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.